In this video, we're going to look at the steps for finding the inverse of a function. So finding the inverse. Finding the inverse. Functions that have inverses are called one-to-one uh, -one functions. And what follows, everything uh, will be one-to-one, -one, and so we'll always be able to find the inverse. So the first step is you replace y with, uh, or rather replace f of x with y. So let y equal to f of x. Okay, that's the first step. Step two is you switch your x and y. So interchange your x and y. So switch x and y. And that's because a function and its inverse swap domain and range. They interchange domain and range. So y becomes x and x becomes y. Three, this is the hard part, uh, solve for y. So solve for y. And then step four, just let the reader know that you know that you know that you found the inverse. So um, just let y uh, call that f inverse of x. That, that's the correct notation. So that's how you find the inverse of a function. Let's go ahead and do uh, just maybe one simple example. So, so ex means example. Let's say we have f of x, let's keep it really simple, um, 3x plus 2. In the videos that follow, we'll do harder examples. So step one, step one is we call it y. So we let y equals 3x plus 2. That's the very first step, right? So you just replace f of x with y every single time. Step two, um, you just switch the x and the y. So y becomes x and x becomes y. So you get x equals... 3y plus 2. And then step 3, we have to actually solve for y. So in this case, we have to isolate the 3y. So we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So we get x minus 2 equals 3y. And then to finish, we just divide everything by 3. The 3's cancel. So this y, I'm going to write it on the left-hand side. So y equals x minus 2 over 3. And then step 4 is simply to replace y with f inverse of x. That's the step here. So f inverse of x, that's how you read it, is equal to x minus 2 over 3. And that is the inverse of our function. So again, just a really quick recap. Step one, you just take this here and call it y. So we did that. Step two, you switch your x's and y's. So this y becomes an x and this x becomes a y. Step three is what makes the problem easier or hard, uh, depending on how hard it is to solve for y. So in this case, we solve for y by subtracting two. So we got x minus two equals three y. Then we divide it by three. Three's cancel, so we just get y equals all of this stuff here. And the last step is just to call it f inverse of x. That's probably the easiest example we can do, but that's okay. I just wanted to talk about the steps. And again, in the videos that follow, if you decide to watch them, um, you'll see some harder examples. I hope that made sense.